Here are the states that he's releasing, the, the Biden campaign is releasing these ads in. It's Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, New Hampshire, uh, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. And it basically speaks, it highlights directly how Trump has said that he doesn't want the support of Haley voters. You do not think, you, you, Biden doesn't need all of them. Biden needs some of them to help his chances in, in, these, in these key states. You do not think they're going to buy what he's selling. No, 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 not what he's selling. Look, if, if an individual wants to walk away from Trump and vote for Biden, they're going to they're gonna make that decision, in, in, by the way, in October. They're not making it in March, April, and May of, of this year. That's not going to happen. And a lot of things are going to change throughout the campaign. I do believe uh, at some point Trump will pivot. Not that he's going to come cater to Kaylee voters. He doesn't really need to do that. But he'll pivot more to the general election type mentality, Wait, that type no of messaging way. with independence. No way. Don't use the word pivot. We did that since 2016 that he's going to pivot. It's not in his nature to pivot. There are a few certainties in politics. Donald Trump not pivoting is one of them. But but the message uh, he he won't, look he, you're absolutely right his brashness his approach and his style won't pivot but his campaign his messaging on that campaign will pivot to where it needs to be to to minimize some of the effects that you saw in 2022 whether it be on um, a women's right to choose or, or the abortion issue which did not fare too well for Republicans I'm not saying he's going to pivot his philosophy but their approach and where they go after it I, I absolutely believe that because it's the smart thing to do and he does want to win but also understand a lot of this campaign is going to happen in the courtroom. Room, right. Every time he's in a courtroom now, he's he kind of plays himself as the victim. His poll numbers go up. Um, there's so many other factors that are kind of going to come in here. But believe me, most Republicans that vote in the Republican primary are going to end up voting for Donald Trump there's, uh, it, because it's not about Trump. It's about a Republican administration. It's about a GOP administration. It's about changing the political culture in Washington. And, and it's about the fact that Biden, while a lot of folks might have voted for him as this moderate, is clearly no moderate. He's clearly being controlled by these extremists. And that's driving a political culture that nobody wants to see in America. So that's where Biden is really blowing it. It isn't we're all for Trump. It's we want a, a political change. And voting for him in, in that type of administration puts more opportunity in the, in the seats of individuals or states or communities as opposed to this one size fits all we're going to tell you how you should live your life mentality that the democrats have been giving us let me ask you